I first saw Glass actually in California um, and watched an artist out in Berkeley start. Um, he had a hot shop out there and, and saw it and kind of made arrangements to take a spring break when I was in college to go out and watch him work and just take a weekend class. And um, like most people's story, I like touched it and took a gather and became immediately hooked and uh, knew that was like exactly kind of what I wanted to do or what I wanted to work with. I think what I'm excited about is all these kind of unusual properties and they're not particularly unusual for scientists or people that manufacture the things, but they're maybe unusual for artists to employ in their works. Glass is something that uh, at times has stress in it, so as artists we're often working as hard as we can to remove stress by cooling the glass slowly over time and trying to prevent things like cracking or kind of any inherent danger in the material for future point. And so my interest was actually to figure out ways to induce stress in glass and to keep that stress and to see why in certain cases glass cracks, in other cases it doesn't. The scientists were, were incredible. <laughs> um, uh, those interactions really drove uh, the work and really kind of inspired some ideas and, and how I could more um, control or manipulate or um, predict what the results would be of a process. And then by using uh, polarized lenses, so manipulating light through polarization, you can actually visually see what the stress looks like, which comes out as a color and light and patterns and these different things. I think as I research the things that I'm interested in, and as I make, um, I kind of respond to the results of making and, and start to see how these two kind of coincide. I like that, like as an artist, I can research and study anything I want to. You know, I'm not isolated or limited to a single field of study. I can study everything or anything. And then as I do testing and see things, I have an idea, I try it. And then, you know, sometimes they're successful, sometimes they're not, but they usually lead to something. I mean, a lot of the things I do are kind of pushing the limits or what I see as limits and what like the material can do or what its potential is. So I think being open to those things kind of helps and lets me try some things that normally, or at least in the past, I wouldn't have tried because it's like, oh, that's never going to work. And now the question, well, what's working? You know, what does that mean to work? One of my favorite pieces was a video piece that I had in the Coexist exhibition. I mean, it's a really simple piece. It's me drawing smiley face and frowny face on a piece of plate glass with a hot rod of glass and watching the stress kind of build up and watching that kind of action develop. It's super simple, but I really like the visual qualities. It was really nice, I think, and it had a lot of feedback about how great it was that people around the studio that we interact with and in the community had a chance to really see how this work gets finished or how it would be presented. I mean. It's one thing to be in here and see things lying on tables and half finished and so I think it was really nice interaction to be able to kind of show that next step. It was just really perfect and, and it was really like a nice experience and I think a nice way to really showcase what we were doing at the residency but it was also a really good way to motivate us to you know work like crazy to kind of finish the things we wanted to finish. This place has so much to offer but for me and what this this research was it was such an ideal and perfect place to be um, you know, to working through that here.